So I'm still in the middle of literally selling everything. Just sold my Nikon D5200, my first ever camera. But I digress. Times are tough right now. Inflation is literally chewed of roof. And not everybody can afford a thousand dollars to give to Adobe and use something like Premiere every single day, especially if you don't make any money from it. Which is why in this video, I am going to completely switch over and use one of, I think, the best video editing softwares for free out there is DaVinci Resolve. Made by the same people that give you black camera, pocket cinema cameras, black magic camera, 4K, 8K capabilities and all that good stuff. Well, they have a program software called DaVinci Resolve 17, 18, and the Pro Studio versions. And me, I've always used Premiere Pro for the past six, seven years. So my brain is literally wired on how to edit, cut in a very linear, sequential, chronological Premiere type of editing. So I'm just gonna be like you and uh, watch a couple of uh, YouTube videos and figure out how the heck can someone like Premiere Pro user, video editor like myself, goes into Premiere Pro and how exactly do I even edit and start with this program? And I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So we got here, DaVinci Resolve, first thing you do, like I would assume, new project, Premiere to DaVinci. And now I would assume that this is your media and timeline. So I'm gonna go to media and I'm gonna drag in my video files that I already have. So I'm gonna drag it, I think, here. So now I have my two media files filmed in 4K. Is there a playback resolution thing? Prefer proxies. Okay. So this is what I do. I have these two clips and then I'm going to, what is this? Cutting. I guess I can cut there. And this is my timeline. Okay. Drag this, I assume, into here. Change, do, 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 do. Change your timeline to rate to match. Sure. So now I have all the details of this clip, when it was filmed, frame rate, metadata. Okay, and I assume here is the cut panel and I can cut, but I'm just gonna go straight into the edit panel. Drag this into here, oh good. And uh, if you're still watching, no, I have never ever edited in DaVinci, so I'm also figuring this out as you are. So I think the right is my source and my left is my final, or is it the other way around? No, here's my timeline, okay. I'm still in the middle. And yes, I'm editing the video as you're watching right now. So I'm still in. Is there a cut? tool. Interesting is B for blade. So I hit here and I assume I can just cut and then click here and then there you go. Basic cutting. And then I can probably move this up, up and down for different tracks. Okay. Got it. Got that. I can still drag that to edit. I'm still in the middle. And then go here, delete, delete, right? Basic cutting functions, cut, cut, and then delete, delete, and then more deleting. And if I wanted a B-roll, I would assume this is very similar to Premiere Pro. Drag this up, pull this over, all right? Now I have some like additional B-roll on video layer number two. And then I could just edit that as is. DaVinci Resolve works in a way where you can go pretty much left to right in the way that you should edit. Source your media files and then clip and edit. Now I can zoom that up. I can add text and stuff. I just don't know how. This is such a struggle. Media pool effects. There you go. I can do some video transitions. I can do a little arrow. I assume you just drag this on top of here. See how that looks. Whoa. Okay. There you go. Very similar to Premiere Pro. You can add some effects here. The next thing is how would you add text to this? Filters, favorites, smart bins, collections. How the heck do I add text? See, this is one of the problems when you're always in Premiere. I am so used to editing a certain way. Is there a text toolbar here? Where the hell is the text toolbar? I really don't want to watch a YouTube clip. There's no text layer. Triangle push. Fusion titles. Here you go. I have some titles. Drag this over here. And if I can, yes, I can type in. Gives me a little th lower thirds title. But so far from just this type of linear editing program, I much prefer Premiere, but once again, I'm also very biased in how quick I can just add something. And another downside I'm seeing is Adobe is starting to innovate and use things like text-based editing AI tools, which I have 
actually have found quite a liking to in like things like adding subtitles. And if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, let me know if you can do that. So I can cut basic cutting for a program that is completely free to have this much of an interface, very similar to Premiere Pro, and you don't want to pay. This is a great resource. But now you hit that, you let's say you get your basic editing done. You can then export, pick your correct settings here. I'm sure there's different presets. Hit to render queue and bada bing, bada boom. I just technically edited my first ever video within DaVinci Resolve. They even have a YouTube export button. But I'm here for the fun part, which is color grading. So what I'm doing now is uh, hit this, and I think lift gamma gain is, let's see what this does. It's not doing anything. So I would assume lift gamma gain is your shadows, your midtones, and your high, your highlights. Yeah, see, my shadows are getting crushed here. Let's lift that a bit. Midtones, gain. This is where DaVinci Resolve really kicks Premiere's butt in terms of color correction. So what I'm doing is gonna add a node and see what this does. So it resets and then this changes, but this does not change. I don't know what I'm doing guys, so forgive me. But uh, it gets a little confusing. So I'm just gonna play with this first. You can change your color temperature. There's a white balance here. I can add more contrast. Shadows and here. So from what I understand is I can simply lock this node and I need to create something called a CST, right? And then from there, I can start to layer out my colors. So I can just choose me as a subject and then I can color grade that and then I can choose the background and just do that. Different colors and different mixers. And I know it can get very, very complicated, adding teals and tones. But from what I'm understanding, I can do this much more simpler for me. IMO in Premiere Pro. But as a basic tutorial and to just get into DaVinci Resolve for something that's completely free. And of course there's a like a premium version. It's a great place to start, especially if you're a colorist, if you want to get into that deep cinematic of the different layers. And But I can already do that within Premiere Pro. So I won't be switching from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, where in my opinion, Premiere Pro is much more for your everyday who just wants to create content, simple cut and splice, very similar, very simple in Premiere. But once again, also biased if you're a colorist and you have experience in a lot of coloring and understanding the science of that from using Lightroom and Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, go for it. But for me, I think I'm going to stay with Premiere for now, unless they jack up the prices to like $5,000. And that was a pro editor like myself who have edited over a thousand YouTube videos using something completely different. And it's almost like being a baby again and jumping into Premiere Pro for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. I understand the basics of this, but it is very complex. What do you guys use? Do you guys prefer Premiere? Or would you actually dive and jump into something like DaVinci Resolve? For me personally, I am so familiar where I can literally sleep and like edit. And for me to learn something new, there is a steep of learning curve where right now, video editing software is similar to using a camera. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the final output. Use Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't really matter unless you are a professional color grader and you wanna get into all those nodes and parallels and all that fun stuff. We live in the age now where I can literally YouTube how to edit on X platform, watch a couple of videos, and I will slowly build that up. But for me, Premiere Pro is my bread and butter. I even have a course on it, Crash Course 30 Minutes of how you can jump from not knowing anything to knowing all of it, technically. Premiere Pro in the description below. Help me if help you if you want to get serious about video editing and taking your content a little bit more seriously. You're watching Brooklyn Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.